Welcome back friends. This is Susan Clifton in her Baca studio and today we are going to do a floatrol recipe for a pour. We're actually going to do a swipe and I'm going to do it on this blackboard. So stay tuned. <music> Okay, so this is Floetrol. You can get this at Lowe's or Home Depot, any paint store. And this is normally an additive if you're going to do house paint, like latex paint. This is for latex. Um, it sort of thins out the latex if you're going to use one of those guns to like spray the paint on the wall. So it makes it flow easier through the machine. This is a great substitute for um, acrylic pouring medium which could get pretty pricey so this is a lot you get a lot more for your for your buck and um, it works really well I bought some inexpensive paint from uh, Jerry's Artorama and this is my first time using this it's, and I, I was fooled into thinking that this was like a fluid acrylic because I saw the nozzle mm. it's very thick it's thick so it's more of a soft to hard body than it is a fluid. And um, which means I'm gonna have to add some more water and a little bit more of this than my previous videos, which I was using more of a fluid acrylic. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see it is pretty thick. <clears throat> so I am, I'm gonna start with water. So this is probably going to have to be 50% water. 50% water to paint. Actually, it thins up pretty nicely. And once you once you have your paint thin enough and well mixed, you can then do Whatever amount of paint you have, you're going to use 50% of Floetrol. So normally with fluid acrylics, I would probably have um, one part paint to one part water and two parts Floetrol. This is probably going to be a little bit more water than I would use if I was doing the fluid paint. So the thing that worries me about this is if I don't mix this really, really good, I'm going to get a lot of spotting in my actual finished piece, which I really don't want to do. So you have to make sure you really mix this well. If I was painting a painting, I wouldn't want to add this much water, <laughs> obviously. But for this type of technique, you really need... Now make sure you shake this up good. And you have to sort of push down and turn. So now I just eyeball it about 50% of whatever my paint is. Sometimes I put it in a smaller cup to control the, the pour because on a big bottle like this, it just comes out too fast. So now you have to keep stirring. I love the consistency. I 
and you don't want to be too thick. So you want it dripping off your popsicle stick really well. And you want it fully incorporated. The nice thing about Floetrol, it does not dilute the color. So your color is just as strong as it was right out of the right out of your paint container. And you want it kind of drippy. All right. I forgot to mention you should always wear gloves. And if you have a nice watch, you might want to take it off. So I had to, um, I put some push pins on the bottom and I'm still a little bit, much better. So don't forget this part. We're going to put a couple of drops in, oops, I put way too much, um, in each one. And you don't want to really stir it. You just want to sort of do a, a very light, maybe make an X. And I poured way too much paint for what I have here. And I also have this white that does not have the the oil in it and we are just going to do some stripes and I'm going to use very little of this paint because I have a really small box all right so now down on this end, and here we go. We're just going to do a swipe. We're going to pull the white paint over the other paint. the other way So I'm really happy with the way this came out. I don't know if you could see the details there. Um, I'm probably not going to leave it just like this. It's a very matte finish. Um, and I am probably going to draw something on here and do like a fabric mosaic inside of a silhouette. So that's just going to make it my own. Maybe even put a word at the top. I don't know. I have to see. It's kind of a busy background. So I have to see if I can simplify it in some way. But I always like to make these things more unique to me. And um, so anyway, let me know your comments below. And also if uh, you have any questions. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.